You know, I never the type of person who likes to bring up politics during when I do my YouTube videos. I'm, I mostly don't. I I bring it up from time to time. Um, you know, when I'm playing doing a let's play, but just make an offhanded comment and just move on with my life. But um, on a there's an HBO show called Real Time with Bill Maher, and politically, you know, I, I lean more to the left, and I agree with a lot of things he said. Politically, he's on point, ahead of his time. A lot of things we we should do for our country, I totally agree with. Politically, however, and and when he goes outside of the spectrum of polit politics. Is where Bill Maher, he, he's in his 60s, I believe he's 64, 65, around that ballpark. He really shows his age because when he talks politics, like, man, this guy is snappy, he's on the ball. It's like, yeah, I totally agree with those things. But when he talks outside of the realm of politics, oof, does it show. So he did a, you know, he did a, his new, his new rule segment. Uh, just, just not, just, just not that long ago. Just like maybe like a few hours ago. And yeah, he, in a way, apologized to Stan Lee that he didn't, he didn't glad he was dead. But he, in, in a backhanded way, he still insulted not only Stan Lee but fans. Like you have to be a kid to still like comics, and comics never evolve. It's not literature, and I'm like. He sounds like that angry old man yelling at the clouds or telling the kids to get off my lawn. He's he's those people back in the back in the days where they say rock and roll is of the devil or for kids or game, video games are only can be for kids and that uh, video games is not art and comics is not art. It's not true literature. Like uh, you know, yes it is, and yet granted. In the beginning, maybe it was it, it, maybe it was for kids, but as the years went on, comics evolved. Frank Miller changed the game with Dark Knight with, with comics like The Dark Knight Returns, Alan Moore's um, The Killing Joke, showed that comics can be dark and gritty and really tell compelling, well written stories. Um, I mean. <laughs> They're celebrated to this very day as the top of the top, you know, of comics of literature. I mean, look at also not only you know the and the Watchmen. I mean, Watchmen, both probably one of my favorite graphic novels of all time, a, a truly a masterpiece ahead of its time. Heck, from the Marvel spectrum, the Civil War comics. So that was going on politically during the Bush era. It was like, it really, it was like really compelling to read and it to read, and it just it grips you. And it, it, you know, is this one of those things like those are examples of comics that were, yeah, they're for kids, but those were for adults. In fact, the Captain America comics back in the day were for, you know, yeah, if they were kids, but a lot of military soldiers liked them. I know what Bill Maher was trying to say that, you know, there are people, and they do exist, we're not gonna deny that, that there are people that. Play too much video games, play read too much comics, and that's all they do. They eat, drink, and sleep it. Don't bathe, you know. Don't have a job. Just live in their mom's basement, and that's all they're doing. But to say that everyone's like that is ridiculous. I know lots of people who play games, read comics, and have a, a wife, two kids. I mean, heck. Rich from you, you, for example, a YouTuber, Rich from Review Tech USA. Shout out to the channel. He has a kid, he, and um, and his job is YouTube. He has a kid and a girlfriend, and he plays video games for a living. He's still adults, you know what I'm saying? He's still adults. He said, I mean, he, he when he has free time, every now and he's playing games, you know, for an hour or two to unwind. He's he's still an adult. He 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 takes care of his responsibilities, helps his wife, take care of his responsibilities, and still does what he does. You know what I mean? It's just job. He's he's an adult. Like and with me, I like I've I you know yeah, I play video games a lot, sure, but I do adult things. I have I had the same job for for six years now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's for six years. Jesus, why wow, it's been that long? 
been working at Disney six years. You know what I mean? And yes, I buy games, but also make, make money aside for food, clothes for work, just clothes in general, bills, or, you know, or saving up for trips. Because I do go out, you know, to the movies. You know, I'm planning to go on vacation pretty soon. So, to New York, in case you're wondering. And adulting. So what people are adulting? It's a funny phrase. It's like... It's like, is this so amazing to me? How this out of touch he is. Like, if you have you read those comics, you would know that there's comics for for adults as well, and also comics strictly for only adults that have, that have great literature that can probably match the Shakespeare's of them. Maybe maybe on, a, on an equal level. I mean, for is, is the same people. He's like the same kind of saying, "Oh, video games aren't art." For people saying video games are not art, you're also saying that. Movies like Toy Story, How to Train Your Dragon, and The Lion King aren't art because they use because video games use the same tools as those as those mediums. But the, what makes video games even better is you get to interact with them. Excuse me. So I can say it's 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 even better than than that because it's interactive. So it's even more it leaves a bigger impact than the, the movie. But I'm not saying movies can't, but there's like a bigger impact on it. So, so, and for crying out loud, and you know what, and you know what bothers me, and someone brought this up before, um, I started filming this, he was in Iron Man 2, doing one of his, like, uh, real tight segments, way from, like, the, 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 the Iron Patriot thing from, was it Iron Man 3? Yeah, he was in Iron, no, no, Iron Man 3, excuse me, uh, making it from the Iron Patriot, and it's just one of those things, it's like, Bill, you're talking shit about comics, yet you were in a comic book movie. Yeah, you, you can talk shit about it, but you don't mind taking their money, huh? Talking shit about to Kevin Smith. So he wears a Flash swear like jersey thing. He's responsible. He owns a comic shop. He makes movies. You know what I'm saying? He he's lost, and since his heart attack, he's taken a lot better better care of himself, and he's actually gotten very skinny and very fit. He's taking better better care of himself, so so he likes comics. So he's still an adult. Like I said before, are there people that just eat, drink, sleep comics, and that's all they fucking do, and they smell and they don't have a job and just mooch off their parents? Yeah, same thing with video games. If you play too much video games. Is just as bad. You gotta find that balance. Yes, I play video games, but also go out to the movies, go out to eat, hang out with my friends. You know, I talk. You know, not only video games and comics, but politics now. Thanks to you know Trump, I got into politics in recent years. You know, I talk video games and and traveling and just you know, amongst many other things, food and whatever you know, food and whatever, and you know, comics, food, video games, traveling, what's going on in the world. What I want to accomplish in life, you know. You look at me, you think I'm the stereotype, but I'm not. I have more. I do more than this. You know, what I mean, there's there's there's, there's times where I didn't. There's times I don't feel like playing again. I just want to watch, you know, the news and catch up on the world. It's nothing wrong with that. So just because I play video games or like comics, am I a child? As long as as long as I have a job and help with society, you know, what I'm saying I recently just voted. You know what I mean? I haven't for years, but now I'm gonna start voting from now on. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing things, you know, and I I donate to charity every year. You know what I mean? I help out, you know, and you know, I help out needy families, you know, by helping out and like you know doing those um charity works whenever I can. You know what I mean? The, I, you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I I I made like a stereotypical fat nerd who just that's all he does, but I do more than that. And not everyone is like that. And he also is like blaming like because of people like us why Trump won. The reason why Trump won is because pe while a lot of you know poor white people, like, that's, that's what Dave Chappelle says it anyway, um, voted for him because they felt that he was going to fight for them. And then you know, Dave Chappelle says, dusty white people as they call them. Um, white, <laughs> he learned, like, the rich people call them white trash. That they're going to fight for them, the farmers and stuff, and, and, and I can see, we look back, you can see how he won, but it's one of those things like, that's why, not because 
oh, you like comics? You must be a Republican. That's that's such a... He's doing a... Stere- he's doing stereotyping. You know what I'm saying? There's no difference than thinking that all Asians are smart. All, all black people like chicken or can't swim. You know, or all Muslims want to just blow themselves up in the name of Allah. That's not the case, dude. There are those people that, that fill those stereotypes, unfortunately. That is the case. I'm not going to deny that. They do exist. But there are people who I know at work, who I follow and at work, who plays video games who have adult responsibilities. My friend Koopa is another good example. Yeah, he plays video games. And yeah, he likes anime and stuff. But he he works his he he works he has a, he had the same job on, on, for over a year now, busting his ass, making sure you know he's he's the main provider, busting his ass, making sure you know he's taking care of mom and, all, and taking care of his mom, you know, you know making sure he's busting his ass, taking care of his mom, you know, making sure he's he's paying for taxes and everything. He's doing his taxes right now, and you know making sure you know he helps he uh, he's doing adult things, adulting. Yeah, so so what he does down the side, as long as he contributes to society, which he is, who the fuck cares what he does on his off time? You know what I mean? You know, it, to, to say that's only for kids is stupid. You know what I mean? So there's music that's only, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it, that music appeals to everybody, you know? So you're saying that it's not it's not good to watch Mr. Rogers anymore or read a Dr. Seuss book from time to time because it's only for kids? And if you have kids, you wouldn't share that? And this is this rich coming from a guy who doesn't even have fucking kids. He has no kids. And he admits he hates kids, so I guess that's for the best, I guess. But still, it's coming from a life of a guy who has no fucking kids. Just because it's for kids doesn't mean it's, it's value and the message it's trying to preach is not worth something to pay attention to. Comics taught us to to be better than ourselves, to to fight against against ignorance and hate, and to love or to learn to love one another. Yeah, there's action too and in between, but it has good, strong moral messages. You know what I mean? And Stan Lee, along with Jack Kirby and Steve Dyko and Jim Lee and Tom McFarlane, amongst you know and Robert Kirkman, changed the game and made it you know not only you know made it for comics for kids, but they they made comics for adults like Spawn and The Walking Dead. Some of the best TV shows that are on now today were based on comics. The Walking Dead, star as a comic book series. Preacher, star as a comic book series. You know what I mean? People consider it as high art, but they started from guess where? Comic books. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist. Comic books, Teen Titans. Comic books, the soon to be released Doom Patrol. Comic books. Comic books. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of the best stuff that's out now were based on comic books. Constantine was a comic book movie. I didn't even know that until I did research on it. That was a comic book series. I didn't know that. And you had a TV series at one point. Come on, man. And good people was high literature. But it was like, but, oh, but, 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 but the minute they find out it's comics, oh, it's not good enough. That's bullshit. Comics have evolved. Yes, there are comics for kids, but comics are for adults, and they have evolved, and they and they are to those levels of Shakespeare and stuff. Some of them, anyway, not all of them, but there are ones that reach that level. Hey, I just saw a tribute that some of the, the, the top ten best Stanley comics, and some of the comics don't even have action, just them the dialogues. But the dialogues are so good and engaging, it makes you stop and think. And in the day, if it if it spreads a positive message, and it helps a person to be better. Isn't that a good thing that it does that? So what's so? Yes, there are books that do that. That have, that have books and pages and that don't have, to have no pages on them. That's great. But comics are just as important as those. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate that. Oh, com- comics. There's no. There's no good comics that teach good moral lessons. Yes, they are. You you haven't looked. He probably still thinks that the hokey dokey, you know, back in the day were bat, bat, the Batman Adam West days. Comics has evolved beyond that since then, and for the better. You know what I mean? And it's still thing that's he he still thinks it's like that. He's that old. He's like God. It's like it really. It just it's, just, it's cringy and bad. 
just watch this new rule segment was like just as bad as the last one he did when he talked about comics. It's just oh my god. It is just Bill, I love you politically, but when but please, when it comes to comics you're dead wrong. You are dead wrong. Um This is amazing to me. <sighs> But yeah, that's my thoughts on the video. Uh, I, I'll link the video in the comment section below so you can um, see the segments. So you know what I'm talking about. It's just, it was cringy. Uh, oof. Just, ow. It just, Bill, Bill, I love you. But stay in your lane, bro. Stay in, stay in the room of politics. When you get out of the realm, ooh, it really, it really fucking shows your age. Cause like it's like man, wow, he's so ahead of the game despite his age, man. I like his politics, but it's like but comic books are only for kids, you know. And like oh, there now now you're showing it, Bill, talking like that, Jesus. Ugh. But um, yeah, that's my thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts? Am, am I right? Am I wrong? Are comics just for kids? Can they be for adults too? And what's your thoughts in the comment section below? I I love to read them out. Try to respond as fast as you believe possible. Um, I had to make a video of this because this is... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> again, I love you, Bill, but again, stick with politics, Bill. Because when you... Stick with politics, my friend. When Because when you go beyond that, it's just... Yikes. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. Have a great day.